silver dragon, Terendalev, the defender of Canabras, fell in battle. Hardly surprising, as she had to fight the demon lord Discari himself. He willed the land to part and swallow all who dared to stand in his way. But the war was still far from over. down into a black hole but at least you're not on your own you've got a great companion everything's going to be just fine tell me something can you feel your legs i feel them all right when say no do a little less feeling in them my ankle's killing me but my back seems to still be in one piece my head too that's all that matters now we're going to hey Fancy meeting you down here. You're the one that Terendalev healed today, right? Y you aren't injured, are you? Will you help me get her out from under the boulders? someone who uses brains first and brawn second. Ugh, damn it all. I think it's broken. Oh well, I've had worse. I'll just make myself a splint out of something. Thanks for the help. I wouldn't have lasted long on my own stuck under there. I'm a Nevia Tirabade of the Eagle Watch. I was overseeing security at the Festival Square. I thought maybe spies or demon worshippers might have something nasty planned. What actually happened, though? Now that, I did not see coming. I don't think anyone could have been prepared for that. Well, I'm Sila, Paladin by the grace of Iomade. I crossed the whole continent to come to Mendeb and fight demons. And, well, I've been fighting for a while now. I don't even want to think what might be happening up there in the city. Canabres has lost the protection of Terendalev, and of the Wardstone too, looks like. It's a relic without equal. It was placed here personally by Iomade's herald, with the goddess's blessing. I really wanted to go see it, to pray before it. But there's no point worrying about a stone when there are people dying in the streets. Yeah, things are looking grim enough, but don't lose heart. Wardstone or no, dragon or no, Canabres will never give in. Simple as. Well, we've introduced ourselves. What about you? Destiny is destiny. So it's either one or the other. Either fate is having a right old laugh at your expense, or Lady Luck sent you to us for a reason. Fate isn't what brought us here, and fate won't get us out either. Uh, now then, I'll hobble my way out of here somehow. The city ain't far, only 30 paces or so. That's if you're going straight up, of course. I'm afraid we're gonna have to go the long way round. To summarize, there are three of us with five working legs, three pairs of decent hands, Two clear heads, and one made of wood. <laughs> That's mine. Underground monsters, beware! <laughs> Anevia, you stay behind us. You're in no fit state to fight. If we do come up against anything, the two of us will try to manage on our own first. Well, onward! May the good deities lead us back to the open sky soon. Take care of it.
My skills are absolute. I'm gone. No reason to pause. We should move. We do it my way. I'm always ready. It's time to act. I will help where I can. A bright future awaits us. Rely on me. Lead on. Together, we stay. I never run. Follow if you dare. Who's there? Relax, friend. We're, we're not demons or cultists. Don't poke my eye out with that thing, all right? We fell down here during the attack. I'm Sila, that's Anevia, and this is our new friend. We're looking for a way back to the surface. Really? I'm so ever glad to hear it. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Camellia. I was also in the square when... when... I can scarcely believe it. How did all those demons get into the city? I thought, naively it now seems, that the Wardstone protected us from attack. And Terendalev, I can't wrap my head around it. That's right. It would be the height of foolishness to survive a demon attack only to perish under a pile of rubble. Are you coming with us then? The more the merrier, and that blade of yours is nothing to sniff at. Certainly. Survivors should stick together. It's only sensible. Who knows what else could be prowling about in these caves? Let's see if this poor bloke has anything useful on him. Not to sound like a heartless brigand or nothing, but we kind of need all the supplies we can get right now. your back. I'll take care of it. I'm off. Well? I hear the voice of the spirits. No reason to pause. 
We should move. I do what I must. Save the last one for me. I'm always ready. I'm gone. This will be quick. Don't hold back! It's time to act. Heartbeat quickens! Strike! You should have run. I am never wrong. We do it my way. First blood. This will hurt. I'll take care of it. Follow if you dare. Ah, a test of my abilities. We should move. I'm off. No, I can't just walk away. It's got to be here somewhere. When do I? Lan, did you find it? Who is that? The do-gooders here to save our mongrel souls, no doubt. Wait, they might know what's going on up there. If things are as bad as you say, then we all have to hurry. You didn't come from the direction of the shield maze. Damn it. I couldn't care less about what's happening on the surface, but the maze. I realize that you guys have your own troubles, but we need to be in Canabres. People are dying up there. Please, show us the way out. You think our forebears sullied themselves by mating with demons like yours did? No, our ancestors would never sink that low. We are the Underground Crusaders, the children of the Crusade's finest. Sadly, Underground Crusaders is a bit of a mouthful, so people usually just call us mongrels. <laughs> you just love repeating that, don't you, Lan? Mongrels. That's what the Uplanders call us. But we call ourselves Neethers. No matter what you call us, it's not gonna stop our horns, hooves, or tails from growing. In Canabras, they're called mongrels. 
People say that they come up to the surface at night and eat anyone foolish enough to wander alone after midnight. <laughs> to tell you the truth, I thought you guys were just a tale to tell kids at night. Huh. That's human gratitude for you. Our forefathers suffered the consequences of demonic corruption, all to protect Mendev and Golarion. And for what? So we could become monsters used to frighten children. <sighs> Every mongrel has their own take on it. Our chief, for example, thinks of us as something like a reserve military force. He thinks we're standing by until the moment we're needed, and when we emerge on the surface and save the day, all the people- Wait, don't do anything rash. These guys may not look like angels, but they're not attacking us, and they probably know a way out of here. Let's give them a chance. Agreed. We need guides, otherwise we'll be wandering around down here forever. That's none of your bit. We're looking for a holy sword. It was here, in the center, sticking out of a rock. The sooner we find it, the better. Some kids from our tribe took off for the shield maze. They figured it had collapsed, and now it's their time to go up to the surface, like all the legends foretold. Except they don't have a clue what's waiting for them up there. They're not fighters. And Sul, the chief of our tribe, is dead set against it. He says that now isn't the time for the Underground Crusaders to take up arms. If we get the Holy Sword, we might be able to change the Chief's mind. It's a fool's errand. None of us will be able to hold the sword, let alone use it to save anyone. It's not an ordinary weapon. It's made from righteous heavenly flame and will burn anyone who touches it. Do you think you're special, Lan? I'll pick it up with my teeth and tie it to my hand if I have to. It doesn't matter. An angel's sword and a troop of stalwart mongrels will be able to work a minor miracle. <laughs> uh, speaking of which, you're still here, Wendu, which means that deep down, you know it's possible. Thanks. An extra pair of eyes can only help. The sword will be easy enough to spot. It looks, uh, swordy. Help us, and in return, we'll get you out of here. <laughs> now we're talking. Let's get to work. It's a good thing we all bumped into each other, isn't it? What? You want to find the sword quickly, so the underground monsters bring you back to the surface. So be it. I found... uh... something? There's something here. I do what I must. Interesting. There's something here. I'm gone. Interesting.
Hey, are you all right? You were kind of glowing just now. That... that was it. The light of heaven, but how? What did you do with it? Where did it go? L'Oreal? That really was L'Oreal? The angel from the legends. The ancestors even got his name right on the gravestone. The chief will be thrilled. You. Thousands of gongs, and no one's been able to touch it. And now you, an ordinary creature of flesh and blood no different to us, get the sword and start talking about visions. Now, now, Wendoag, don't be a sore loser. She is clearly different from us. The sword appeared before her, along with the angel's name and all that other stuff because she doesn't carry our mongrel taint. Heaven doesn't give a damn how special we are. We're born with evil inside us. Heaven doesn't need to know any more than that. I know you're willing to tear anyone apart to uphold our people's honor, but you and Sul, you just refuse to face the truth. We are the way we are because our ancestors' bodies were corrupted by the Abyss, it does the same thing to plants and animals. There's nothing heroic or special about it. It doesn't make us better, and it doesn't make us worthier. It's only us here, your group, you, me, Wendu, and the Light of Heaven that sort of got, uh, sucked into you. Any chance you can whip it out again, we do kind of need it. Sorry, I crack jokes when I get nervous, and when I'm upset, and when I'm happy. A anyway, what I said, it came out wrong. We need to bring you to Chief Sul. You can show everyone the light of heaven, we'll rally the tribe and go into the maze, and we'll get back our kin. And what if she can't make it happen a second time? What then? The tribe will just say we're crazy and turn its back on us. That is just... Wow, I mean, that's amazing! Heaven has truly blessed you. This power is the most majestic thing I've ever seen in all my life. Is this what the sun is like, Lan? Yes, it's similar, but this light is more... golden? Chief Sol needs to see this. Now that we have the power of angels on our side, he can't say no. He'll have to assemble a troop to storm the maze. You Uplanders care about your kids, right? Help us save ours. Without them, we won't survive. And then... the perils of the maze won't be so bad if we go together. We'll make our way through it and find the way to Canabras. Let's go. We'll take the short route. Well, the only route, really. Now, what is that? Thanks, Lan. You're so awesome, Lan. We do it my way. The mongrel did it. Thanks, Lan. You're so awesome, Lan. Save the last one for me.
It should work. Is it flawed? It should work. Is it flawed? It should work. Is it flawed? You've crossed the long mongrel. If you dare. Their life ends here. Don't hold back. Strike. My skills are absolute. I'm off. I do what I must. There's something here. I'll bathe in your blood! I am never wrong. I'm gone. 